Hello, I thought I would to do a video today about um, the relate, and I may have done this video before, but I don't remember, so I'll just do it again, and if I find out that I did, I'll put them next to each other and compare the two, but this video is um, the relationship between the, the infinite now and the and reincarnation. Um, there's lots of people start, right now starting to realize because of teachings of certain channelers like uh, Seth through Jane Roberts speaks of this, Bashar through Daryl Anka speaks of such, um, um, Barbara Marciniak or the Palladians through Barbara Marciniak have, have spoken of such. And I think Ra may have spoken, but I don't really know exactly. And now the scientists are starting to seriously consider this even because of back backed up by certain scientific experiments even at CERN the fact of infinite per, per, infinite parallel universes in the third dimension where we live existing right now where we are um, that we can't see but happening right now but not on, on our exact timeline but not only that but an infinite amount of timelines before us and, and after us which basically makes if you can jump through the um, parallel universes, that's how you make, that's how uh, time travel becomes possible. You just jump to a parallel universe that's a little bit ahead or behind or whatever, and you're at that parallel universe. So that's the concept of how time doesn't exist <coughs> in this dimension that we're on now. And then on the higher dimensions, well, that's where you can jump around to the different areas in this dimension. Um, you know, or just create whatever you want in a higher dimension. But it's, it's that's the concept of um, the infinite now, how time doesn't exist. Um, but what we really need to do is just not be like, yeah, that's how it is, instead of the whole reincarnation, which is bullshit. Because that's what we do, typically, as humans. As, as we grow, we, we believe this one thing, and then we go, oh, no, it's that. So with the pendulum swings way over there, you know. And then these guys are still over here, you know, or, or and then maybe you live this way for a bit, and then you go, oh, no, wait, you learn some new things about the other way, and they go, oh, wait, no, it's really like this. Instead of swinging the pendulum back and forth, it's kind of like how Bashar says, I like how she says, it's both and, not either or, and it is both and. If you have an idea about something, then it has to be true, you know, so let's, let's, let's seriously um, examine the idea of reincarnation and how it relates to the infinite now. People would say like, oh, but, you know, because the people people get like past life readings, you know, or even with the same psychics, you know, that we're talking about here, like, oh, yeah, in a past life, you were Michelangelo, you know. Well, somebody might say, oh, well, you're not Michelangelo <laughs> in a past life. You're Michelangelo right now in a parallel universe. But the thing is that past, present, and future does exist. People would be like, oh, no, it doesn't exist doesn't because Seth said so. No, past and life, past, future, and present does exist. Look at your watch and watch the seconds go by. <laughs> past, present, and future exists. Read your history book. It exists. Um, so when you get, like, you know, if you think about your past, like, the idea of thinking about your past lives and reincarnation and getting past life readings and all this stuff, it's real. It, you you were something in a past life, and you do progress. The, um, you know, I got like the practical practical pattern thing. You're like, if you don't believe this, then you know this and this and this, and the next thing exists. So, if time exists in this world, it also exists in the, in the reincarnation world. So, you were something in the past. You did have past lives, and then you and then you die, and then you do do the and you reincarnate in the same timeline. We do live along a timeline on the spiritual world. Um, we're not jumping back and forth and this and that. You know, like when I live my life and then I'm reborn, I'm not going to re be reborn in the Middle Ages. I'm going to be reborn. This is my opinion, by the way. I'm not saying this like you believe me, you know. But you're not going to be reborn in the Middle Ages. You're going to be reborn... Um, in the future of this this exact timeline, but how does that relate to um, to the con communication between different parallel universes? Like, like 
Like, I mean, just seriously think about it. Can you be rewarded in another parallel universe in the past? Um, that's basically what we need to ask. <laughs> I don't have it totally figured out, even though I'm making the video. But, um, but, um, I mean, whatever you experience, whatever is appropriate for you to experience. So, and I think when you, you know, when you die and reborn again, you you move forward but it's very 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 liquid you know like anything is possible so if you you know if you live a life and you feel fulfilled by this life then yeah you would be reborn in the next life and in, in the future of this timeline if you live this life and you feel like you are like you didn't accomplish something or you're not totally satisfied then that part of your soul gets reborn in that life again to make that life better. Now, I also did a video about this like a month ago, um, about how various different um, parallel universes create, uh, communicate with each other. And as the, and, <clears throat> you know, the, as the parallel universes go back in time, you know, like one is in this timeline and then the other ones are back. As 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 they progress, they get better and better and better and better and better. And so, for example, the world that we live in now is a very important world because it's the first one where we actually have a successful um, transition into the next phase of human um, evolution without having um, any environmental catastrophe that destroys us um, or a third world war that destroys us. I mean, we're, we're, we're like barely going to make it type of a thing, you know, but we are going to make it and get it ascend into the next dimension and and uh, remain intact and, and, and go. Um, but the reason that we are is because of all of those other parts of us that have come before us in the parallel universes that are ahead of us. Those parts of them that were not satisfied because they, they weren't successful wanted to tie up the loose ends of their dirty karma that they created by, by reincarnating as us or putting a part of their soul as us getting reincarnated here, or, or even, I mean, lots of ways like warp tunnel, uh, or wormholing themselves into this world, and meeting with, um, um, like the you know the found the founding fathers to make them write the constitution. They're tweaking, tweaking certain things, you know, like deactivating. Um, atomic bombs and this that and the next thing all, all sorts of th all sorts of ways but you can um but i mean physically tunneling through but also a part of your soul reincarnating in this world again so in that sense i think it's possible to reincarnate time travel but i don't think that you would reincarnate like um you know, 2,000 years ago and live that life again, very much. I mean, I'm sure it's possible. Like, you, you die and then you're like, what do you want to do now? And then you're like looking at your book of life. Oh, look, 2,000 years ago, that was a fucked up life. I want to reincarnate over there and fix that, you know, part of me over there. And, and you would go over there and since that's you, it's really difficult to like imagine, but like since that's you, that's like a it's like it's, 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 it's that unit of who you are, you know, you own like i guess you have like the rights to that like life since you lived it before and then you go again so you can jump in there and you can like add your energy to it maybe maybe as a as a guardian angel to that person or being reincarnated as that person um um and then you do that but usually i don't think you would go that far back you would if you reincarnate again you would reincarnate and it's like what Bashar says, like if you were to die in this life in a car wreck or whatever, you you have the choice to relive that life again. You can pick up where you live, left off. And then you're living the life and, you know, and you think like, wait, wasn't I supposed to die? Like, how the hell did I live through that? You know, when, when you didn't in the world that you come from, you didn't, you didn't, you died. But you just wormholed yourself into another parallel universe where you miraculously lived and then you get to continue. And that's how 
that's how reincarnation and parallel infinite amount, you know, the infinite now exists. But usually when you die, you move on to the next life and you progress through time, you know. And the reason I know you progress through time as an individual is because everything progresses through time. And if everything progresses through time and societies progress through time, then you as your soul progresses through time. And then you, you, you know, and you get up to the next level, the next level, and you move on, you continue to learn. You don't live the same primitive world over and over and over and over again for eternity so it's a both and it's not an either or so the whole concept of like reincarnation in the traditional way is completely valid and it's not something to negate just because so said that there's no time in existence you know anyways i'm out of time ciao